you are looking at now is the Sony Vegas project file for the last video that I did which is entitled electronics how it is done and I want to point out a couple things here here in the project media center there's actually quite a bit of stuff here I would say around 20 or 30 files that I used for this it was very complex it was a kind of a chore to edit but the, re the reason why I'm showing this is not to brag at how much stuff that I used it's to kind of point out a problem that I had with Sony Vegas uh, while I was trying to render the whole thing into something that I wanted I personally like HD I figure if I've got the cameras for it then I should be able to post in an HD format and in this case it's it's 720p that I was trying to post at so every time that I tried to render this thing in something say the Sony AVC MP4 format in a template that was the internet 720 dash 30 frames per second format which is in this case it's called internet 1280 by 720 dash 30 P it'll go for maybe a second or two and then you will get an exception here there you go runtime error uh, abnormal termination this is not the normal one usually I get uh, an exception or something like that but basically it kills the Sony Vegas and you are left with maybe one or two seconds of render video before it just completely dies on you okay we're gonna do this again verify that this is I'm going to predict that it's gonna crash within the first few seconds of the render see the plane flying overhead to the right and the error occurred while creating mini file blah 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 the reason could not be determined and that one didn't actually crash the program which is kinda cool but as you can see this time this time the rendering machine is actually not working there's no frames being processed even though it's trying to do it but it's really not uh, with this type of failure you have to basically close the program yourself instead of it having to crash okay and this is another thing the host process stopped which means that the video is not going to process so I'm gonna have to restart this computer all these all these little errors come about by just basically the Sony rendering option just basically messing up your computer to the point where just it, does, it doesn't do anything and I don't know I don't think this is indicative of every computer although I've heard that um, you know I've looked this problem up and it there seems to be a conflict between the div X or the XVID codex of uh, video playback and the plugin that Sony uses to render its stuff the crashing does not happen if you have like you know a fairly simple video with like two or three different clips once you get up in the 20s though it's gonna be a nightmare for you guys or for me it was at least the workaround that I found uh, has to do with the way it's mixed. And uh, just for reference sake, the way you usually re render a video, from the menu bar you go to projects, and then render as, and then you choose your rendering options from there. And it goes into the render folder uh, under the project folder that you saved your project under. With this other way, I usually hit select all or control A to select all make sure that you've got your loop region set you go to tools then you do a control M or under this tools menu it is rendered to a new track and then you can see that you have the option to render it how you want for me I rendered it as a WMV file because I couldn't find actually the Sony format under here except for actually that may be it the main concept ABC AAC I rendered it under the WMV format 
and the WMV format has 6 megabits per second HD 720-30p video and I'm going to have Nutrack 1 be its own uh, name there go ahead and click save and it will start basically rendering it will take a while this this took about two hours to render basically under this track but as you can see it hasn't crashed yet once you get above the 8% mark you can pretty much be sure that this thing is not going to crash I, I basically watched it through it throughout the entire rendering process and it worked for me so what happens is is when this is done rendering it will show up as a new track on your work area down here and with that uh, you know that it's been rendered into something and it's actually saved under a folder uh, named rendered tracks instead of rendering I basically grabbed that track from that uh, from from that uh, folder and uh, I uploaded it up onto YouTube and it worked for me so I hope this is helpful for some of you I mean there's got to be some of you that uh, work Sony Vegas as your primary editing tool and if that's the case then some of you I know that some of you have been running into this problem so uh, I hope this is a uh, great workaround and it will help you guys out in the future